I'm happy to be here this morning to commission the Secretariat for the Interministerial Committee on Illegal Mining. The difficulties our nation has gone through in recent years have meant that some people have had to find ways and means to keep body and soul together. As a result, they engaged in illegal activities such as illegal mining, popularly referred to as Gadam Say. This phenomenon involves mining in riverbeds, mining on riverbanks, mining in forest reserves, the degradation of our lands, the non-reclamation of degraded lands, and the use of dangerous chemicals such as cyanide and mercury. Upon my assumption of office on 7th January, I had the responsibility to say no to Galamse for our own common survival and the survival of those who are to come. I was of the view that if we allowed it to continue, we would be jeopardizing both our present and our future. Our responsibility to this end was clear. So in March this year, I set up on the advice of Cabinet the Interministerial Committee on Illegal Mining, whose membership is composed of the Minister for Local Government and Rural Development, the Minister for Defense, the Minister for the Interior, the Minister for Regional Reorganization and Development, the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Minister for Chieftaincy and Religious Affairs, the Minister for Information, the Minister for Sanitation and Water Resources, the Minister for Monitoring and Evaluation, and the Minister for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, its chairperson. This committee is also actively supported by the Chief of Staff at the Office of the President the Minister for National Security, and the National Security Advisor. At the commencement of its work, the committee recommended a six-month ban on small-scale mining activities, a request to which I assented. The ban was extended for another three months after the expiration of the initial ban. During the period of the ban, Government gave directives to the, con to the committee to carry out certain activities to bring sanity into the artisanal gold mining sector. These included, one, launching of Operation Vanguard on 31st July 2017, a force comprising officers and men from the military and police service tasked to prevent further pollution of water bodies and land degradation. Operation Vanguard thus far has been a huge success. Two, training of small-scale miners in sustainable mining at the University of Mines and Technology, UMAT, Takwa. 400 miners have been trained, with 300 to be trained in January 2018. It is anticipated that by the end of September 2018, 1,300 miners would have received training. Three, nationwide tour by the Minister for Chieftaincy and Religious Affairs to solicit the support of chiefs, queen mothers, and other traditional and opinion leaders in the fight against illegal mining. Four, Regular interaction between the Interministerial Committee and the Small Scale Miners Association to craft a code of practice for small scale mining operations. Five, formation of district committees against illegal mining with clearly defined terms of reference. These committees are expected to address all issues concerning small scale mining in the mining communities in their districts. The Metropolitan, Municipal and District Chief Executives have already been informed about the composition of the district committees, which will be inaugurated 
before the end of the first week of January. To champion the cause, the media has also formed the Media Coalition Against Illegal Mining, which is waging the battle against Galamse across all fronts of the media landscape. The coalition is doing invaluable patriotic work. Ladies and gentlemen, Ghana this year ratified the Minamata Convention on Mercury as the 40th party. The objective of the convention is to protect human health and the environment from anthropogenic emissions and releases of mercury and mercury compounds. It is noteworthy that within the framework of the Convention of the United Nations International Development Organization, UNIDO, the Ministry of Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, MESTI, is preparing a national action plan that will have the following features. One, actions to eliminate worst practices of mercury exposure. Two, steps to facilitate formalization or regulation of the artisanal small-scale gold mining sector. Three, strategies for promoting the reduction of emissions and releases of mercury. Four, strategies for providing information to artisanal and small-scale gold miners and affected communities. And five, public health strategies on the exposure of artisanal and small-scale gold miners and their communities to mercury. UNIDO is to be commended for allowing the Interministerial Committee on Illegal Mining to constitute the advisory committee of the Minamata Convention on Mercury National Action Plan. This is a clear demonstration that the actions we have taken to streamline small-scale mining in Ghana are in sync with the National Action Plan initiated by MESTI and UNIDO. Ladies and gentlemen, we're entering a new era in our efforts to formalize the small-scale mining industry so as to achieve sustainable mining with sound environmental practices. In the weeks and months ahead, I expect to see optimal coordination amongst participating ministries and the district mining committees, as well as close interaction with Operation Vanguard, small-scale miners, and the general public. I expect the committee to receive regular reports from mining centers so that illegal activities can be dealt with immediately. With the inauguration of the district committees in some 10 days, an important exercise will be carried out, and that is vetting of about 1,400 small-scale miners in all the mining districts of Ghana, allegedly the total population of all small-scale miners in the country. This will enable us to know in full their details and whereabouts, and to monitor their activities. As I indicated earlier on, the fight against illegal mining is entering a new phase. With this office in place, there's going to be constant, close, and effective monitoring and reporting of anti galamse activities so that the right thing is done all the time. This new phase will demonstrate our resilience and commitment to ensuring that our water bodies, lands and forests, with their biodiversity, are not destroyed. My own personal commitment to banishing the specter of Galamse remains re resolute and immutable. I expect the Small Scale Miners Association, from the national to the community level, to help in self-regulation of activities of their miners and also ensure that no one engages in illegal activities, especially mining in our water bodies. 
Let me reiterate, the small-scale mining, ladies and gentlemen, is and will continue to be reserved solely for Ghanaians. I need not stress that the Interministerial Committee must discharge its duties efficiently and ensure that our country continues to set the pace in the preservation of our environment. I now have pleasure to commission the Secretariat of the Interministerial Committee on Illegal Mining. 